Jnana Linga is unique because it has all the seven dimensions established at their highest peak. In a way, if you look at Dhyana Linga, what it means is, it is like a living person sitting there who has his energies at his peak. If you push it anything beyond that, it will lose its form. To retain a form, you need to understand, if your energies lose your vibrance, lose its vibrance, then you can't hold on to the body, you will leave the body. That is called old age. What is happening with old age is, your energies are losing their vibrance. Even if the body is reasonably fit, physiological body is reasonably fit, you will see very few people dying of old age these days. Everybody breaks some part of the body and they die. Otherwise, if you have… have you seen anybody dying of pure old age? Everything is okay, but slowly they just recede because the energy has lost its vibrance, it cannot hold on to the body anymore. Similarly, if energy reaches the highest peak of vibrance, then also it cannot hold on to the body. To hold a form, your energy should be within a certain range of vibrancy. If it goes below that, it cannot hold. If it goes above that, it cannot hold. So if you push it anything beyond that, it can't hold a form. So to hold a form, what is the peak? All the seven chakras are at its peak, within the ability to hold the form. And now it's almost like a live person sitting there, the highest kind of being. The idea of creating the lingam is so that everybody has the privilege of being in the intimacy of a guru to do their sadhana. Very few people get this opportunity that they can do their sadhana in the intimacy of a guru. If you do your sadhana without the necessary grace, what can be done in a moment takes many lifetimes. So, Dhyanalinga offers just that possibility that people can do their sadhana with the intimacy of being with a live guru. At the same time, you don't have to, you know, without instructions, without any physical entanglements, one can just be in the presence of a guru.